everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I, Brett, help tech work for you. And today, I wanna to talk to you guys about my setup in this room so that I can most easily distribute great content to you. So over the last few months, I've been able to make a couple bucks. So thank you all for subscribing and liking my videos and sharing them, I really appreciate it. So I was able to get a few different things that I want to set up today and kind of do a quick review on each of those items. So first, I wanna show you what I currently have set up in this room. So the few cameras that I use, I have a Galaxy S7 that I'm using to record right now. I also use this Galaxy camera sometimes to record. So using this camera, I'm gonna show you my perspective. So here I have a tablet that I use uh, to see what I'm doing with side sync. Here I have a one soft box light that I've kind of thrown together with some cardboard. Here is my S7 as well as a really old tripod that I have and another light that I've kind of thrown together. So the first thing that we're gonna do is unbox our new light. They're the Limo Studio 700 watt photography lights from Amazon. All the products that I talk about today are going to be in the description below. So make sure you check those out if you really like what you see. So let's get started. So I have both of those set up, and right now this is the lighting with my old setup. Now let's try the new ones. And this is with the new ones. Wow, I would say that is $77 well spent. So let me show you real quick what it looks like from my perspective. So here we're looking at these nice big bright lights. I think it gives up plenty of light. So my quick review is a thumbs up on those Lumo Studio lights. Let's move on. Here I have this Vastar Universal mount for my phone so that I can have it portrait. I'm gonna do that for demoing some um, how-to videos on the phone. Here I chose the Rode VideoMic Go. And I couldn't decide on a mic, especially since I don't have a professional camera that I'm using. So I wanted something that was high quality that I could use on the go. So we're gonna try this out. I haven't found great resources that says it works on my mobile device, but I know that as long as I got this cable, the SC7, that it should work no problem on my phone. So we're gonna try that out next. Pull it out of the box. So here it is, really nice size, very lightweight. Here it has a cold shoe attachment, and I have one of those right here. Okay, so the SC7 cable, it connects TRS to TRRS patch cable. So that means that this should connect the Rode VideoMic Go to say my Galaxy S7 or an iPhone so that you can use it on those devices. So here they are color coded. The black just goes on the back here. And then we'll plug this into the phone. First, I'm gonna pop open this newer box. So this is this is the newer aluminum alloy um, V-shaped triple. So what I'm gonna use this for is on my tripod, I'm gonna be able to connect my phone as, as well as the video might go right on top, all with one mount, which is gonna be very handy. So this little guy right here, this is the Consot mini ball head with lock and hot shoe. So what this is gonna be used for is I can plug this right on to the mount and then I can actually attach another um, I can attach this right on here so I could mount my phone or the mount I'm currently using on my S7 right onto this. So let's get it set up, plug it on there, and then I'll plug in the mic and we'll see how that sounds. Okay, so with this, I just slide it on. And then I just screw this and it fits tight. I can also use this to mount my phone that way if I want. Okay, so now I can just attach, this is the phone mount I'm currently using. It's a Vaster as well, oh, how convenient. So I'm gonna throw that on there, make this as uh, level as I can. So I can sit my phone on, 
works just like that. Then, hopefully, if things go right, you can just slide in. Video mic pro right there. Video mic go. Wish I had a pro. Then I just screw this down to tighten it. So it's a pretty tight fit there, but uh, I think it will work. Now let's plug in the video mic go right into the Galaxy S7. Now I'm gonna go screw this on my tripod. So right now you are listening to the mic on the Galaxy S7. Sounds okay, but it's really echoey. So now let's plug this in, see how it sounds. Okay, now this is recording from the Rode Video Mic Go. So when I plugged it in, it did say recording from mic, which was great. That's, that's exactly what I wanted to see so that I know it was going to work. So now this is me recording from the Video Mic Go. I hope it sounds great, very crisp, clear. We'll see what the overall result is and if I decide to record it when this video is done and as I'm putting it together. So next, let's go into the newer uh, softbox for this newer light. This is the newer 160 LED. Everything comes in a nice little soft package for portability. Looks like we have it on now. And then there is this strap that you wrap that around and tighten it on. See, this is full. So this is with, without, with. Um, let's try it without the light. So this is without any light. This is now with the light. It's actually very soft light. Um, so that's really nice. Okay, I like it. It actually stays on there pretty firm with that Velcro strap. This is without. You can see that hard shadow in the back. There you go, the newer softbox light. So I don't know if you all saw that, but that uh, light just fell. So maybe not as sturdy. I might need to do something to make it a little more sturdy so these lights do not fall and break. So let's get into, here we have this tripod. And then here we have the Vaster phone mount, product model C4 mobile. So here it has a mount on the bottom that will just screw right into the tripod and then it has the mount for your phone that you can um, unscrew. Oh, it looks like you unscrew it and then you can clamp your phone in. So here I have my phone. It keeps going. This is a Note 5. So it is a pretty big phone. Oh, awesome. That fits in just fine. And then I can just screw it and clamp it together. So then I can mount my phone and we can look at videos like this, or I can just simply turn this part and then mount my phone so it is in landscape mode. Then to attach this right onto the tripod, I can just pull off the top piece of the tripod you just screw the bottom of the tripod to get that to fit on. That's sweet, so I can, again, put it on this. Let's see how easy this is to, oh, I like it. It's got a handle on it. Whoa, I can hang it upside down. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's just fit it right here. Got lots of little latches I can tighten. Just wanna slide that on, boom. There's the Amazon Basic 60 inch lightweight tripod with bag. So that is very lightweight. All right, those are all the products that I had today for my new YouTube starter kit setup. So if you want this lighting, make sure you check out the description below. All the products will be there. If you click those links, they are affiliate links, so they really help me out if you buy from there. 
Thank you guys so much for watching today. If this video helped you out, I'd love for you to hit the like button. And if you are new here, I'd really like you to hit the subscribe button so you can get notified of my new and upcoming videos. I teach about all things technology and how to use them and how they can benefit your life. So for more tech tips, tricks, and tutorials, please subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one.